So now that we've looked at the connectors and controls of your audio interface, we need to get it to talk to Reaper. But before we can do that, we need to get your interface talking with your computer. For most audio interfaces, you'll need to install special software called a driver, and we'll walk through this process in a second. Unless your audio interface's instruction manual tells you otherwise, don't plug in your audio interface just yet. That's because in some cases, this can mess up the installation process, so it's better to start the whole process without having your audio interface plugged in. Now, where do you get the driver software for your audio interface? Most audio interfaces come with the software on a CD, but I recommend instead going to the manufacturer's website, finding the product web page, and downloading the latest driver for your operating system. That way you'll know for sure you've got the latest version. For this example, I'm going to download and install drivers for the Steinberg UR22. I'm at the Steinberg website and I'm on the download page for their UR22 driver. I'm going to download the Mac version here. So now that I've downloaded the driver, what's next? Well, let's go to our Downloads folder. Take the zip file, put it on our desktop. Just double click to extract it. Open this up and follow our noses through the installation process. We're going to start by just double clicking on the Yamaha Steinberg USB driver and following the instructions. There's always a long license. Lots of terms to agree to. Trust me, everything's going to be okay. Oh yes, I agree. That's okay. Install. And you will need administrative access to your computer, so make sure you've got your password handy. You will also need to restart your computer once the software installs. And through the magic of editing, we'll be right back. And we're back. So you've installed the drivers for your audio interface, which means that now your audio interface should be able to talk to your computer. And if you haven't already been instructed to do so, now's a good time to plug in your audio interface to your computer. I'm going to do that right now. Next thing we need to do is get our audio interface to talk to Reaper. So to do that, we need to launch Reaper. This time when we see the select audio device dialog box, we're going to click on yes. We're also going to open our previous project in the meantime here. Clicking on yes opened Reaper's audio device settings preference window. If the selected audio interface dialog didn't pop up for you, you can open up Reaper's preferences by pressing command comma. And just go down to the audio and device settings here on the left hand side. At the top of the window, you'll see a drop down list. The driver you just installed for your audio interface should show up here. Your list will look different than mine, but just make sure to look for the name of the audio interface you want to use. If you can't find your audio interface listed here, quit Reaper and restart your computer. If you've restarted and still can't find your audio interface listed here, try re-downloading and reinstalling the driver. In most cases, restarting fixes the problem. So I'm going to choose the Steinberg UR22 and click OK. And now your audio interface is ready to use with Reaper. If you unplug your audio interface and forget to plug it back in when you start Reaper, you will get an error message. But don't panic. Just close the window, plug in your audio interface, and restart Reaper, and you'll be fine. Now we're ready to start our first recording project.